Astronomers are making significant headway in their quest to discover a greater number of super-Earths, which they believe to be abundant in the cosmos. Super-Earths, characterized by their larger size and higher habitability potential compared to our own planet, are offering valuable insights into the diverse array of rocky exoplanets orbiting distant stars. Along their explorations, astronomers frequently encounter unusual celestial objects, like a recently uncovered planet engulfed in molten lava, with an incredibly brief year lasting just half a day. This remarkable discovery stands as the largest super-Earth ever detected in the vast expanse of the universe. The question arises, what mysteries might this colossal super-Earth conceal, and is there a possibility that it could support human habitation? Let's find out! Before we start, be sure to click on that subscribe button as it's the best way to support this channel. Exoplanets are celestial bodies orbiting stars beyond our solar system. They have become a frequent focus of astronomical investigations. In the summer of 2022, NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite or TESS researchers stumbled upon some intriguing exoplanets residing in the habitable zones of their parent stars. Among these findings, one exoplanet boasts an astonishingly rapid orbit, completing it in under three days and surpassing Earth's size by 30%. Another candidate, approximately 70% larger than Earth, holds the tantalizing possibility of a deep ocean. Super-Earths typically surpass Earth in mass, but remain smaller than ice giants like Uranus and Neptune. Recent studies have underscored the significance of super-Earths in the quest to uncover extraterrestrial life, particularly due to their higher likelihood of orbiting cool dwarf stars. These stars, with less mass and longer lifespans than the Sun, host a substantial number of super-Earths. Concluding from the discovery rate, astronomers estimate that the Milky Way alone could house tens of billions of super-Earths within habitable zones that hold liquid water, a fundamental requirement for life. Super-Earths are the most prevalent type of exoplanet in the Milky Way according to current calculations, making up around one-third of all exoplanets. The distance to the nearest is merely six light years. Super-Earths are also considerably easier to find and analyze than Earth-sized planets which makes them excellent targets in the hunt for extraterrestrial life. Astronomers utilize one of two techniques to find exoplanets. One searches for a planet's gravitational pull on its parent star while the other searches for a star's light briefly dimming as a planet passes in front of it. With a larger planet, both of these detection techniques are simpler. Astrobiologists have delved into the factors that render a planet habitable, revealing Earth's uniqueness in this regard. Our planet has experienced fluctuations in climate over its 4.5 billion year history, often making it inhospitable to humans and large animals. Researchers have identified specific characteristics favoring habitability, including geological activity more prevalent on larger planets, promoting biological evolution. An ideal habitable planet would be 20% to 30% larger in volume than Earth, possess a moderate temperature of 77 degrees Fahrenheit, shallow waters supporting life to the seafloor, a denser atmosphere, orbiting an older star than the Sun, and a robust magnetic field shielding against cosmic radiation. These combined features create a remarkably livable environment. Super-Earths have several characteristics of highly livable planets by definition. 20 super-Earth exoplanets have been found so far, and while they may not be the finest possible worlds, they are theoretically more habitable than Earth. Super-Earths can be composed of gas, rock, or a combination of both. They range in size from being up to twice the mass of Earth to being twice its size. The term super-Earth exclusively refers to exoplanets that are larger than Earth and smaller than Neptune. It does not imply that they are similar to Earth in any way. The exact nature of these planets is yet unknown because they are unlike anything in our solar system despite being typical of planets discovered so far in our galaxy. Over the past three decades, astronomers have unveiled a diverse array of exoplanets, expanding our knowledge beyond the confines of our solar system. 
Super Earths, capable of being up to 10 times Earth's size, remain relatively enigmatic. We don't yet understand these planets well enough to predict when they might cease to have rocky surfaces. However, there may be a wide range of planetary compositions in the mass range of 3 to 10 times that of Earth, such as water worlds, snowball planets, or planets like Neptune, primarily made of thick gas. Subneptunes or mini-Neptunes are other names for exoplanets that are larger than the super-Earth size limits. A super-Earth and mini-Neptune-like planets were found in 2019 by NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS, circling a cool dim star 73 light-years away. The dwarf star is 40% smaller than the Sun in terms of both size and mass, and its surface temperature is about a third lower. Approximately 25% larger than Earth, TOI-270b, the innermost planet is probably a rocky super-Earth. It travels 13 times closer to the star than Mercury does, orbiting it every 3.4 days. The scientific team calculates that TOI-270b has a mass that is approximately 1.9 times bigger than Earth's, based on statistical analysis of known exoplanets of comparable size. The other two planets TOI-270c and D orbit the star every 5.7 and 11.4 days and are respectively 2.4 and 2.1 times larger than Earth. Both may resemble Neptune in our solar system despite being only slightly larger than it. Their compositions are dominated by gases rather than rock and they likely weigh about 7 and 5 times as much as Earth making them mini Neptunes. The surface of planet TOI-270d would be too warm for the presence of liquid water, which is thought to be a crucial requirement for a potentially habitable world. However, further research may find more rocky planets that are slightly farther away from the star, where colder temperatures would allow liquid water to accumulate on their surfaces. Recent explorations have led to a captivating addition to the roster of potentially habitable worlds, exoplanets that have escaped their parent star systems, scattered throughout the Milky Way. One such discovery, TOI-1075b, lies a mere 200 light-years from Earth. This super-Earth stands as one of the largest ever found, with a radius 1.8 times that of Earth, residing firmly within the small planet radius gap, an intriguing region seemingly devoid of planets with radii between 1.5 and 2 Earth radii. TOI-1075b's peculiarities continue, with potential implications for planetary formation theories. It is significantly denser than Earth, suggesting a rocky composition akin to Mercury, Mars, and Venus. This makes it an ideal candidate for investigations into planetary development and evolution. Scientists were able to precisely determine the exoplanet's mass to 9.95 Earth masses, since TOI-1075 star has a mass and radius that are around 60 that of our own Sun, and 1.791 Earth radii were obtained from their exact measurements of the size. You can figure out something's average density if you know how big and how heavy it is. Also, TOI-1075b proved to be a complete chunk. 9.32 grams are contained in every cubic centimeter of it. It is a contender for the title of the densest super-Earth, as it is about twice as dense as Earth's average density of 5.51 grams per cubic centimeter. In the mass gap, an exoplanet should have a sizable hydrogen-helium atmosphere. The density of TOI-1075b is not consistent with a dense atmosphere. This is quite strange. Based on the projected composition of TOI-1075b and its extremely brief orbital period, since the planet's equilibrium temperature is hot enough to melt a rocky surface, it could either have no atmosphere. Due to its proximity to its star, TOI-1075b is so hot that it may have a surface ocean of magma that generates an atmosphere of evaporated rock. The good news is that we may find out whether this is actually the case. The James Webb Space Telescope, equipped with advanced atmospheric analysis capabilities, offers an opportunity to examine TOI-1075b's composition and atmosphere. 
This information could provide unprecedented insights into planetary formation, gas loss from super-Earths, and their habitability potential. While not specifically designed for exoplanet study, the James Webb Telescope will be deployed to investigate two potentially habitable super-Earths during its inaugural year of operation. Additionally, the next generation of colossal ground-based telescopes, including the 39-meter Extremely Large Telescope, the 30-meter Telescope, and the 25.4-meter Giant Magellan Telescope, hold great promise for detecting signs of life in exoplanet atmospheres. These observatories, currently under construction, are set to commence data collection within the decade, potentially revolutionizing our understanding of super-Earths and their potential as habitats for extraterrestrial life. In conclusion, the realm of super-Earths offers a rich tapestry of discoveries and possibilities. As we delve deeper into the cosmos and harness increasingly advanced technology, we inch closer to unraveling the mysteries of these fascinating worlds. Share your thoughts on super-Earths in the comments below, and thank you for joining us on this cosmic journey.